So while we get the presentation ready, my name is Gabriela Fernandez, and uh, I am working towards a bachelor's in architecture at Florida Atlantic University. Um, and so here it is. Um, Bill uh, Strickland says, beautiful environments create beautiful kids. And um, this is exactly what I wanted to do when I set out to design this school. Um, he is a community leader who helps the disadvantaged children um, build better futures in Philadelphia. And, um, and I, I, these children are not disadvantaged by any means, but um, you know, it is a smaller community, so I wanted to bring that same sense of hope and beauty to uh, the children of Yantalo. Um, currently, school systems focus on reinforcing left brain learning, and um, I designed a school that would emphasize right le brain learning um, in order to foster creativity and holistic thinking. Um, Jantalo is very near uh, to the equator, um, and it's a rather temperate climate uh, with uh, averaging 75 degrees year round. Um, and it's, so I wanted to take advantage of this. Um, I'm sorry. Um, Stu uh, studies show that when students feel safe and secure, their self-esteem increases, which then motivates them to be part of the learning process. Um, emotional and physical safety is what I intended when I designed this school. Um, as you can see, it's built around a central courtyard. Um, I wanted the children to be able to play in this uh, central courtyard in recess and um, have the interactions with environment that foster um, that stimulate children to better than indoor um, environments do. And I wanted them to um, feel freedom and be allowed to play without the feeling of being supervised because adults can be standing in the classrooms and this would create, uh, this would translate into um, independence and a sense of authority, which would then translate into kids who are not afraid of making mistakes, which in turn translates into creative children. Um, I designed uh, six modular classrooms in a variety of sack sizes. Um, the smaller classrooms, um, obviously for the smaller children, and larger classrooms for larger children. Um, they will be built, um, they can be built um, one by one, or the first three and then the last three are as needed. Um, however, always maintaining the relationship to the safe place in the middle. Um, there's also a perimeter um, road that circulates to the main complex, um, which is where, okay, I'm sorry, the, to the main complex, which um, mitigates the uh, entrance. Um, so being that uh, Yantalo is near the equator, uh, shading was very important in my design, and um, I designed the central courtyard to be protected by a canopy intention, a canvas canopy intention. Um, and also all the buildings have large overhangs. The um, classrooms, as well as the main building, have operating doors that are on hinges that can be adjusted um, to, um, or depending on the wind patterns, so to, for maximum uh, cross ventilation. Um, and uh, I did all this not just uh, obviously responding to the uh, environment and the local climate, but also because um, since it's such a beautiful weather, I wanted the children to um, have optimal comfort with um, as little mechanical intervention as possible. Um, the main building is a multi-purpose uh, space where the uh, school can have assemblies. Um, they can play during rainy days. Um, uh, it can be a performing space as well as hold uh, community events and meetings. Um, it's an inviting space that welcomes you as you, wel as you um, as you approach it, um, creating a memorable experience um, which fosters uh, positive emotions so that the children can love their school and love to learn. Um, each classroom is um, open and bright um, to awaken and energize children. Um, we um, Studies show that sun lighting um, stimulates um, uh, creates um, serotonin, which actually is known to uh, enhance memory and uh, 
aid in the learning process. Um, so for this reason, I wanted to have as much lighting as possible. And um, I wanted to, the schools, um, the classrooms are very, um, there's a interior space and there's a, an equally large um, exterior space, a private garden off of each classroom. So the students have the choice of um, the main um, courtyard in the middle or a private, class, a private uh, garden space outside where they can interact with nature. Um, there's uh, butterfly roofs that capture water and the water um, as it goes down to the cistern um, uh, water's a green wall that um, I, I thought it would be a good uh, green feature to uh, help the children understand the natural environment um, in a hands-on way so that they can not just know that these things exist but be part of it and perhaps even grow strawberries or something of the like. Um, um, and also the, there's a very large canopy um, that's sustained by that green wall and this creates um, a threshold. So my intention was to have a clearly defined interior space, clearly defined exterior space, and a threshold of inside outside almost where they can still um, participate in the, out out the exterior space during uh, maybe not so perfect weather days. Um, overall, the school is designed to meet exceed, and exceed comfort standards so that children, um, so that learning and creativity can flourish. Thank you. <laughs>